Hi, I'm Ollie. Uh, 26 is my lucky number. Um, it's a bit odd why it's my lucky number because it's a number that has essentially ended up uh, with me losing the use of my right ankle uh, and with my dad uh, becoming uh, nearly permanently tetraplegic uh, when he broke his neck. Uh, tetraplegic is paralysed from the neck down. Uh, he's made an amazing recovery and that's what I'm not, not what I'm covering in this film. 26 is the size of a mountain bike wheel uh, in inches, it's the standard measurement of a mountain bike wheel, uh, it's the diameter of it, um, and it's mountain biking that's caused my dad's injury uh, and mine, uh, it's left some pretty deep scars both physically and mentally, it sounds really cliche, but it's been three years and in those three years um, I've not been able to walk properly at all, um, and as well last September my dad broke his neck as well, so the last year particularly it's been pretty tough, but it's nice that we're sort of coming out the far side of it a little bit now, um, in a way. Uh, I'll sort of cap over my leg, uh, really. Three years ago, uh, just over three years ago, it was August the 18th, um, I got a jump wrong in a disused quarry in Somerset um, and ended up breaking my uh, ankle, uh, sort of the lower leg, in uh, quite a few places. Um, directly, it was like, I think, three places, but I also ended up. Um, splintering the bone and stuff a bit. And there was about four different types of fracture. They gave it a really long and complicated name and I can't really remember what that was. Um, so I ended up getting airlifted out of this quarry. Um, having found out that morphine doesn't work on me. Uh, but they gave me enough NOS that made me happy. So that was all right. um, and so yeah, they, they airlifted me out of the hospital. And when I got to the hospital, they um, said that they couldn't sort of just stand and beat, whack a cast on it and hope. Um, it was too gone for that, so I had to have an operation, but, but there'd be bolts in it and then that would be it, fine. Um, but it wasn't, turns out, a year after that, the first surgeon had mucked up the operation and we had to go private and then it was too late then really for the private guys to do anything, but they spent the next year really trying their hardest to um, get it to sort of like move again really, but the joint had sort of seized together. Um, so they ended up doing their own thing, um, which is called a fusion um, of the ankle. They put three big bolts for it to stop it moving, but they sort of set it in a position that means that I can still walk fairly well with it. Um, and providing I keep on going well, I'm strong with my physio. Um, I should might, might even be able to jog and stuff a little bit as well because the forefoot will take over from some of the movement of the ankle. I still mountain bike quite a lot. I'm really, really into it still. Um, and something that's caused two such sort of big things within our family. Um, a lot of people question why I still do it. Um, and I don't really know, but I think it's just when you enjoy something that much, you don't really want to stop doing it. I don't know, it's really tricky. One day I aim to make a film to properly explain it, to properly get it across. <laughs>